In the previous video, we highlighted Gennady Golovkin's ability to establish distance. In this one, we're going to explore a performance of his that has been underrated by some people. I'm talking about the Willie Monroe Jr. fight. Monroe is a slick fighter with fast hands, fleet feet, and he's a southpaw to boot. Not an easy guy to look good against. So how did Gennady Golovkin manage to do it? First, let's look at some of the mistakes other guys did against Monroe Jr. Mistake number one is that they failed to cut off the ring. Instead, they followed him around in circles and allowed him to escape and slide away. Mistake number two concerns overshooting and smothering. Notice how Monroe's opponents attack him from too far away, thus allowing him time to pivot or circle away, then forces them to reset and start all over again. His opponents also leap in far too close, which leads to smothering and allows Monroe to clench. Mistake number three, excessive defensive movement. Monroe's opponents are overly concerned with fast hands that are coming their way. Remember that the punch that you don't see coming is the one that hurts the most. Monroe's fast hands, plus the fact that he's so slippery, makes his opponents jittery and over eager to attack. When they punch, they go all in, desperately trying to hit him. This leaves him off balance and on the defensive, which allows Monroe to slip away. Enter the Gennady Golovkin solution. Notice the difference in how Golovkin deals with Monroe. Number one, he starts off with cutting off the ring right away and putting pressure. Notice also how he remains in position to counter even when Monroe punches. Number two is his creative punch selection. Golovkin jabs and throws shots to the body. Now Monroe doesn't know where the punches are coming from. Golovkin keeps jabbing and notices where Monroe's head dips. Later he throws another jab, but follows it with a right hand, anticipating where Monroe's head is going to be. Here, Golovkin cuts the ring off, corners Monroe, but maintains a healthy distance from which he can punch and Monroe can't touch him. Monroe moves a lot while Triple G conserves energy and keeps Monroe guessing. Golovkin keeps throwing right hands, continues to maintain a good sense of distance and applies unending pressure. Notice again how he doesn't panic or move excessively when Monroe punches, contrary to how Rosano and Vera did. After so many right hands, Monroe is on the lookout for it and never sees the left hook that Golovkin prepared for him. In two rounds, Golovkin was able to put far better pressure than Rosado and Vera did in 22 rounds. And managed to drop Monroe. Does Saul Alvarez have the ring IQ and firepower to keep Triple G off of him? Tell us what you think, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, we will see you on the next one.